Hi honey bunnies and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back sweetie pies. So glad to be back. First and foremost, did I not tell you guys Hori, get over consistent going forward? Ne? This is me taking accountability, you know, and you know, keeping myself also accountable for the things that I said I was going to do. And this was very important to me, Hori. I keep my word this time around. Sorry guys, I sound so nasally. I sound like so nasal. It's again Haska using score today. I sound very nasal because it's a regular flu. I hear there's some kind of um, a weird flu going around. People are thinking it's Omicron. It's this new variant. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is this? Coronavirus. And I'm not even surprised if it is i wouldn't even be surprised because this is the worst flu i've ever had in my whole entire life but we'll push through it so yeah guys if you guys feel like my energy is a bit low couple understanding i'm still recovering from the flu but consistency on a daily thing period so yeah so um as you guys can see from the the title of this vlog or this video rather it is a video about um my trip to loftus to go see the the urc um, semi-finals between the sharks and the bulls so yeah everything in the clear one guys is literally what happened that day so yeah we're just gonna we're gonna get straight into it but before we do let's not forget protocol let's observe all protocol I hope you guys can see so I'm gonna explain exactly what's in this so don't judge me guys give this in money so give me city storm can mix a brutal 80 can mix a dish of the pizza golden see and then got a lemon twist to cook your local tilly and we must see back is it so cheers and never above you never below you always beside you my honey bunnies clink clink it tastes like everything is gonna be okay so let's get straight into it okay um last time so just to get this um out of the way a lot of people usually ask me where i do my nails where I do my lashes, where I do my hair. So, hold up. Kupela le bonta hairstyle ya December. Kupela le boning guys, what if I la go kan kan. Yo, if I la go beyond my bum bums, but yeah. So, hair is by a lady called Joy in Bram. I do everything in Bram. Like Bram ke the 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 be all end all for me so i do my hair goes joy i'll put all of her details in my um description box everything will be in there and if you also want to go further her work and whatnot please just kindly go to my tiktok i will tag her there are certain videos that i i, I add there it's like everything that i do in terms of maintenance day so yeah, her name is Joy. Joy, I call her Joy the Miracle Worker. So she does my lashes and she does my hair. And these nails, honey, please observe. Please. Come on. Stop. Do you see this? I'm back. So I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So my nails are by um, a guy called Mr. Wale. Please ask for him by name. Um, he is based on Jorison Street, Gobram. I can't remember the exact number of the street, but um, it's front opposite Net Bank, Gobram. And please ask for him by name. He is the best. I will never cheat on my nail tech, I will never cheat on my lash or my hair tech. So, yeah, now that that's out of the way, honey bunnies, let's get straight into it, okay? <music> Thank you. 
the more happy is. Okay, more happy or get more happy. Okay, more happy. I don't know why we're more happy. Actually, both. Is it? Actually, both because my family was more happy. Understand? Okay, more happy. Okay, more happy. It's both. You're right. But who embrace anang? But who? Ah, so cute. Basically, um, this whole vlog that you're about to see now is just, uh, it was an outing that was planned by me and Bay. Actually, I came up with the idea. You know what? I'm going to take credit for this one. I came up with the idea because, first and foremost, Kirata Rugby. If Lisa Yiti, I'm a rugby hand, um, I did mention um, Hori. It is how me and my partner met. That's what brought us together. If you guys don't know the story, I'm not going to go into it. You guys can just go right here. Just go click on this vlog. Um, it, was not, it wasn't a vlog. It was, it was a, a story time. Yes. Please click on the story time. Um, it's about how I met him, what brought us together, the whole shebang. I don't hold anything back. If please go and like that video, share that video, comment on it, tell me what it is. I'm saving, but yes. So me and him rugby initially. So obviously we are going to continue that tradition we're going to make sure we go to as many rugby games as we can which is how this came about so he funny story he is a sharks fan um and he met me as a bulls fan but yeah so now the bulls were playing against the sharks so it was a situation honey but please enjoy the vlog guys um we were with his best friend and his girlfriend who is now one of my best friends her name is fifi and his name is david so you guys will get to meet them see them and all of that child but please enjoy the vlog guys it's gonna be if you've never been to loftus if you've never been to a rugby game indulge in case you guys were curious about it but yeah it's just us chilling with our friends having a great time enjoying some rugby and hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. got in we decided to just explore the place a little bit because it was I think it was Bay's first time there as well as um, Bay's best friend's girlfriend my friend so we had to just make sure at least to so we did that we got to chill there by the park area before and then we got in listen so if you've never been to a rugby match the atmosphere is unlike anything you've ever experienced firstly i was in my element guys i'm not going to make it a secret hurry. basically i'm a white girl i'm a white girl stuck in a black girl's body or whatever the fuck you guys want to say but you would delay in an afrikaans environment so that for me felt like home 
you know what I mean so <laughs> as you guys can see now I was having the time of my life um, Bay on the other hand Wait. comes to the Mohapis, this is something that's very very close to my heart um, not just because David is Bay's best friend and Rifilwe is now one of my best friends but as you guys can see how in love they are and how you know they they're so cute with each other i honestly honestly um pray for them <laughs> um, a lot because i would love to see them getting married and having a family and all of those things because they are one of the couples that really um inspire us and um advise us and and keep us together as as um a couple i can't really call out call us call, call ourselves um, a new couple because we're almost two years old now but they they advise us they guide us because um we we regard them as very important people more pilombarona so having them there was just a cherry on top you know we had so much fun with them and this experience is an experience i will never ever forget in my whole entire life it just it just goes into that bag of memories that um will be core core memories from pilobaka kaufela so it was really nice having them there So obviously, as I mentioned, the whole reason why we were there is because now that I'm a Sharks fan, um, going to the match was something that we both wanted to experience together, um, you know, as a couple, you know. So we went there to see the Sharks win and the Sharks lost. And we didn't even lose by that much because um, it was um, we lost 30 uh, 30 27 so near 27 is shocks in, in talking the bulls nearly um, 30 
so it was very very close and i think that's why it kind of hurt for bay so la mona mo re mo ne ke mo foster ho re so good so good so good and he was just not having it shame like he really took it the hardest so it was a bit of an anti climax but i saved the day i was like there's no fucking way you guys are coming to my hood and we're going to lose to the bulls in their hood and we're just going to be really sad and miserable i was like nah let's just go to my favorite spot so i introduced them to eastwoods if you've ever been to eastwoods you know what it is So we get to Eastwoods and obviously the whole point of me taking them to Eastwoods is because Eastwoods hold holds um the memory facility so obviously I thought okay, I know okay, Saturday I know okay, Eastwoods is gonna pop off. We get there, allow this shit on Saturdays if you're not there by 2 p.m. Cool. You won't have the best seats in the house. You're probably gonna sit in the, the overflow area, which doesn't really <laughs> help you experience or contribute to the experience over time we experience like Eastwood. So naturally we got there after the match was done, which is like past six. Was it past six? Yeah, sometime past six or seven. I'm not exactly sure. So by the time we got there the popular area is already filled so they couldn't really experience the full experience here is to so that kind of sucked a bit so we were in the overflow and that's the new area i didn't even know that there's a a new area that they built i haven't been to eastwoods in a long time since then uh before then so naturally but we still tried to you know maintain enjoy uh, because even though we lost we had to make the best of it uh, the best of it because they're coming from the vowel um the mohapis were coming from the vowel so we wanted to make sure at least they have an awesome experience and um it, it was great it was honestly really really good to see them um having fun more where i used to have a whole lot of fun with my friends so that was a very very special core cool memory as well so a lot of core memories went down that weekend After I and had amazing conversations, um, we ended up going to go see my sister. If you guys have never seen my sister, you're welcome. You're welcome. She looks she looks nothing like me, but you'll be able to tell her Rebeleke, my older sister. So yeah, we went to go see Ceci, my sister, Lesejo and uh, my niece uh, they were at the a new hotel uh, the one in in hatfield uh, not the one near um what's this 
Loftus, not the one at Loftus, but there is a separate one there in Hatfield. So we went to go see them. And yeah, it's always nice to go see my sister and uh, she loves my partner, which is amazing. So yeah, we got to see them. I got to introduce them to my friends and best friend. So that's how we rounded up the whole experience. It was very, um, what's this? It was very, it was very nice. I can't think of any other word right now. It was very nice to actually round it off that way to to um, see family and be able to um, share in that experience and also get them to see um, the people that I spend most of my time with. So that's how we rounded up the whole trip. experience um, but the takeaway from everything that happened now I know better I know Hore, if we're going to um, a Sharks match I have to make sure number one David's there David will go sit with me they will sit right next to each other and scream at everyone as much as they want to because my ears child like my ears cannot take that so me and baby girl will sit on the side have our drinks take content chat it up look at the eye candy whatever the case may be but yeah um it was great <laughs> no camp i had the best time with um, our friends with bay and meeting up with my sister also just added the cherry on top and um yeah it was something that we had had on our bucket list for a long time we've had a lot of firsts as a couple and because we're not even two years old yet we're still taking some of our firsts off the list so it was great to do that and to experience it as Sharks fans really too now, so um, I'm, I'm really really happy that we got to do that with our friends But thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for watching this um, vloggy guys and for being patient with me and um, For trusting me with being more consistent because I did mention we could go back And I'm still getting everything out of the way Watalohanya, all of the content that we've been taking as um that has just been sitting there got as a backlog so i'm really really glad that you guys understand Hore. i just want to make sure Hore, everything is is happening the way it should be and then once everything is but i will catch you guys in the next vloggy never above you never below you always beside you my honey bunnies check you guys in the next vloggy Magic.